Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, going to take a look at just an absolutely stunning 1965 Chevrolet Impala SS convertible. Love this car, guys. Uh, beautiful rally red paint. It's got all new black vinyl in uh, interior. It has got a 396, uh, 375 horse uh, big block underneath the hood, Muncie four speed. Uh, I love this body style, man. And this is a killer car. Bought this car locally from a guy, Norman. Great guy. He's owned this car for 15 years. Bought it originally out of Florida. Uh, had a complete frame off restoration done. And then I, I didn't exactly catch, I know it's got 175 miles on the drivetrain. I think he had the drivetrain redone recently. Uh, I think believe, uh, within the last three years. Um, again, beautiful car. You can see it's got the Corvette rallies, the 15 by 8s all the way around it with the BF Goodrich radial TAs. Pretty, pretty car. It is a true super sport too, guys. This is not a clone. Um, this is not an easy car to find. I've, I've had, you know, man, I haven't had one in a couple of years, but... Uh, I don't know the last time I've had a big block, to be honest with you, in a, con in a convertible. Again, the body and paint and stuff like that sounds to me like it was done about 15 years ago. Um, there's a couple little touch-up marks kind of as you walk around it. I see, the, I see a little stone pack there. There's some things that you can pick a little bit. Matter of fact, I really think the car's due for really a wet sand and wheel. Um, that would really slick this car out. Uh, new bumpers, um, not that, I mean, it's not something you have to do, but like I say, if you really want that paint to come out slick, finish there, um, that's what I do. I mean, this car just be slick as glass. Chrome and stainless is very nice on the car. You can see the dash pad's nice, all new interior, bucket seats, console. He's bringing me the correct shifter. He put a uh, new her shifter in it. Great guy. Outstanding guy. New boot, new top. Matter of fact, the top had the first time the top's ever been down. Uh, they're coming in tomorrow. His, well, I'm sure his wife's going to have a laugh because she whispered in my ear. He never put the top down because he didn't want wrinkles in his top. But, uh, but like I say, wonderful people. Uh, great car. Bought the car again originally out of Florida and then he had it restored. He had three cars, so every one of them was just super, super nice stuff. The only bad thing is you can tell this car has actually spent the majority of its life underneath the cover. He just, she said, I think they drove it two times in the last couple of years. Unfortunately, he's, he's getting older and I think he's got a few little health issues. You see the chrome, and so he replaced all that stuff. New bumpers. Same thing, a little rub mark there. But man, was his place nice. And you can tell, this is the kind of guy that you want to buy a car from because everything he's got has got a spot in the garage, and it's all beautiful. killer car. Still got the stock drum brakes. I mean, it's really built, back, you know, back to the factory specs. Um, not a matching numbers car. It is an era correct. It's a mid-60s block. Um, it's It was a uh, original three and a quarter horse block. They built it the 375 horse, so it's got the solid lift camshaft and everything in it. Again, 175 miles on this drivetrain, so when we take it out, we're not going to run it hard. I would encourage you to do the same thing. You should put about 500 miles on these cars before you start ripping into them. Uh, it does have power steering, get manual drum brakes, really goes up and down the road nice. Just a good, good car. Muncie four-speed manual trans. Big, 
big fan of this car, guys. This car is just slick. I love this body style. These tail lights just kill me. I love the tail lights. It's just a little dusty. mirror and look how nice the a-pillar chrome is new door rubbers new door fuzzies you can see they definitely replaced the door handles door skins are nice and clean bottom of the car is all painted shiny black I mean this is a nice car new carpet new sill plates Factory bucket seats and console, those have been all repadded and foamed. You can see the dash is nice. Steering wheel's really nice. Get power top, it works great. It's a black top and it's got the glass rear window in it. Gauge cluster all worked. Showing um, 18, 184, I'm sure that's 118. But he's even put a little note for the next owner in the center console. There's 175 miles on the edge. Uh, AM radio didn't work, clock didn't work. Tack's not going to work. It's got a Mallory Unilite distributor in it, so you're either going to have to change that ca tack over to electronic, or um, there's, a, there's a little conversion thing that you can buy, I guess, to make them work, because uh, that's a tax uh, a points-driven tack. Um, blower motor worked. Radio did not. Flowmaster dual exhaust. It's got a 12-volt rear end with a 323 limited slip rear gear. spares here in the trunk car cover goes with it again he's bringing me up the original shifter for the car tomorrow it's all spackle coated in the trunk I believe the car's got all original panels I think that's what he told Dale trunk light works everything opens and closes real nice um, Again, look at the bottom of the car, it's nice and clean. Beautiful car. Turn the key, take it right to the car show, guys. I love stuff like this because you just don't see them. You don't go to a car show and see Tennyson Park next to you. Door pads are new. Well, that's a nice car. Again, these are all repadded, refoamed. What I'm referring to on these tacks, this, these these cars that were points cars in '65, so they're uh, they run off a uh, points driven. The tacks a points driven tack, but I think you can buy a converter now for these. I know some of the newer stuff you definitely can. Yeah, I know the horn works, I can 
accidentally scared the Steve with it this morning. Okay, guys, make sure you keep track of our inventory. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram and our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page, guys. You can do that by clicking the little button there at the bottom. That way you get a notification every time.